Welcome everyone, my name is Neil Fong and I'm the President of the Australasian College of Health Service Management and we're trying to provide some uh, practical tips uh, to our members and non-members in this period of the COVID-19 crisis. So we have some speakers, fellows of our college who have provided some short video clips which we're going to share with you um, to hopefully give you some encouragement, some inspiration and some practical advice about how to lead. Our college is all about developing better leaders for healthcare and therefore healthier communities. Our first speaker today is Dr. Richard Olley. He's a member of our national board. He's a senior lecturer uh, in health management at Griffith University in Brisbane, Queensland. He has over 25 years experience in healthcare leadership in private and public sectors. And he is also one of our chief examiners for the college. So enjoy this presentation from Dr. Richard Olley. Hello colleagues. I'm delighted to be asked to provide a message of support and encouragement in these challenging and sometimes trying times that we're experiencing in health services management and service delivery. My experience is that nothing demands accountability like leadership, and when organisations face their most difficult moments, all eyes turn to leaders for guidance. I know from personal experience that there will be times when you're pushed to your personal and professional limits. A global disaster like COVID-19 is a moment of truth for an organisation. It's a time when competent leaders prove their mettle and when pretenders reveal their impotence. A crisis is always an indication that something needs to change. There's been no other moment like this one that I can recall on such a global scale uh, and yet such a personally affecting scale. I'm not aware of any prior situation in my lifetime where we've mit witnessed a sustained crisis that has shifted the behaviour of virtually every business, community and organisation on this planet. The necessary COVID-19 response is testing all of us. It will require us to work in new ways, to interact differently, to reorganise and restructure and have to answer questions about what we believe the future might look like. But the one thing that I am sure is that how we act now will set the trajectory for how our organisations uh, function and how we as leaders are seen in the future. It will reveal the depth of your competence and it will demonstrate your character in the eyes of those that you lead. During my time as a health executive, I had the honour of leading dynamic, talented and committed teams who managed complex tasks and competing priorities. I held and still hold nine principles as true, and these helped me personally in my leadership practice every day. The first of these is being, on, being honest on a personal basis, being honest with myself and able to reflect on what I'm doing and whether I personally believe it's the right thing to do. Secondly, acting carefully but quickly. Thirdly, staying focused. And fourthly and importantly, assembling the right team around you, which may be different for these circumstances as in others. Listen only to facts and evidence and be perceived by those who are relying on you as actually taking the lead. Communicating openly at all levels within the organisation so that you are talking the talk but also walking the walk. And finally, act and be seen to act compassionately, equitably and honestly. These are the nine principles that I hold out as required to act with integrity and they demonstrate your trustworthiness which I've learned from my own practice and my current research is the only way to really foster trust, which is the basis of successful leadership. In putting this little presentation together, I'm reminded of a quote from Douglas Adams, author of the famous book, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And while I in no means am attempting to trivialize our current situation by using quotes from this comedic science fiction radio play come book come movie, but it tells a story 
of finding an answer to life, the universe, and everything. And the quote from Adams, who's the author of that work, has always struck an accord with me. And he said, To give real service, you must add something which cannot be bought or measured with money, and that is sincerity and integrity. The role of a health service manager and health service leader is not an easy one. Your everyday work is important on a wider scale than just the organisation that you lead. As a health leader, you're front line, essential and valued. And along with the rest of the country, I thank you for your service in this challenging time. And I know many of your colleagues and friends are experiencing the same challenge. And I'm proud to be part of such a group of competent and committed professionals who lead health services in these challenging times. So please stay safe, stay well, continue to wash your hands, and together we'll forge through this and move on to the next challenge that confronts us, because I think that's part of the joy of being a health leader. Mm -hmm.